Welcome back cowards. Recently I've been out and about, I've been uh, going to different places, different producers, different restaurants and producing some real high quality content. But I know that some of you are here to try and see the terrible content. So that's what we're doing tonight. I really felt like some deep fried food so I thought where better to get it than the worst reviewed place in Brisbane. So I've managed to find it. It's actually kind of hard to track down. A lot of places won't let you sort ratings from like lowest to highest. Obviously not to damage the businesses but <laughs> you can't get things past me so I managed to track it down I'm just about to read out some reviews so we know what kind of place we're thinking about while I'm doing that make sure you drop a like down below comment if you think you've had a worse takeaway experience than this or even just let me know what your worst takeaway experience is because I love to hear people's crazy stories this first one is from Mark he says, I normally don't post reviews unless I have an exceptionally bad or good experience. That's everyone, Mark. I ordered calamari, which was the worst calamari I've ever had. It smelt and tasted incredibly strong, like off fish. Disgusting. I had an upset stomach for a day after my visit. Do not recommend a disgrace to fish and chip shops. That's a pretty tough call, a disgrace to fish and chip shops, but could turn out to be fair. Uh, this person, Blaine, said, by far the worst fish and chip shop in Queensland, period. Absolute disgrace, you should be ashamed of yourself. P.S. Thanks for the heartburn and disrupted stomach. That's not something to thank them for, Blaine, you silly goose. I gotta include this one by Lou. Horrible experience today. The cook doesn't even wear shoes. It was absolutely filthy for only opening an hour ago. There was an awful smell coming from the oil as if it had not been changed in a long time and the crumb sausages tasted like fish. I'm contacting the food safety industry this afternoon as this is beyond a joke. I mean, that's why would you not wear shoes? Imagine how oily your feet would be. So I popped into this place actually to try and get a takeaway menu. Uh, when I arrived, they had a padlock on the front door uh, and some bars up and there's no one in there. Uh, they didn't actually have a takeaway menu. So <laughs> I'm just gonna call up and uh, just assume some things that they have and place an order. Uh, hey, could I please place a takeaway order? Yep. Uh, do you guys have like a, like a seafood basket? Yep, we got a, a fitment basket. Yeah, that sounds good, one of them. Is there fish in that? What kind of fish? Uh, cod. Cod, okay, cool. Can I get that battered or no? Uh, no, in jam. Okay, in crumbs, okay. Uh, can I get a chico roll? Chico roll, yeah. And then, um, what if I was just gonna get one more thing, what do you think I should get? What do you think the best thing is? Um, how about cabana? Okay, let's go with cabana. Yeah, cabana, yeah. Yeah, that's all. Just, yep. just uh, yeah, unrelated to the order, but I'm a very uh, influential food reviewer. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. I'll see you soon. Yep. Ciao. Thank bye you. Bye. All right, gang, just pulled up at the spot, about to head in, gonna try to get some uh, hidden camera footage for you guys. Hello. Hey, just have the takeaway order? Yeah. How are you today? Hey, good. Wow. How are you? <laughs> yeah, got the cool hat on. What sort of, uh, what sort of shoes do you guys wear when you work here? Do you wear like uh, Crocs or something? I heard about this one place where they didn't wear shoes in the kitchen. Yeah. That's crazy, hey? It, oh yeah. Yeah. We fail. Yeah. You wouldn't want to slip over. Okay, so as you can probably tell, they spoke uh, little to no English, but they were super lovely and uh, they did answer my questions eventually and they liked my hat, so that was nice. Gonna head home now, try out their fish and chips. All right, I just raced a uh, crazy storm home, so if I get taken out by lightning or if there's any loud cracks in the next uh, bit of this filming, that's why. I gotta say, honestly, first glance, doesn't really look that bad. Everything's pretty well fried. The chips, not too crispy, but also not too soggy. So that's, I think, what I'm gonna start with. The chips, really potato-y. They're not, um, they don't have like a batter or anything on the outside. Very dense potato, no crisps to them at all, although it does look like a little crispy boy here. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I didn't ask for any uh, chicken salt or anything. It does seem like there's a little bit of seasoning on there, but um, nothing too crazy. I think now I'm gonna go the uh, seafood stick. Absolutely love a seafood stick. It's just a cylinder of fake crab meats. It tastes exactly like uh, every other seafood stick I've ever had which is a pretty good sign. I'm gonna give the calamari a go. Now remember, the review said that the calamari was terrible. It does not look like there's much actual squid in here. Oh, 
It smells fine. I think maybe it's like marinated. It tastes kind of garlicky, which is a bit strange for a calamari. Yeah, not the best calamari I've ever had, but also not the worst. All right, we got the fish here. We got a whole lot of fish inside the batter here. He said this was cod. That's pretty wild because um, it doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't taste like the crumbs. It doesn't taste like the fryer. It doesn't taste like fish. It's just crumbed and fried protein, hopefully. <laughs> so we got ourselves a little prawn cutlet here. Uh, yeah, an actual prawn, and then just surrounded by empty batter. So not a chopped prawn, a butterflied prawn with batter. That's real weird again, because it just tastes like literally nothing. Like there's no chicken salt, there's no salt. Doesn't taste like a prawn. It's just nothingness in a bite. It's like if you got a prawn cutlet and then ran it underwater until it didn't taste like the ocean anymore and then deep fried it. That's what that tastes like. These are like little fish bites, I think, little seafood bites. Let's pop, oh, okay, yeah, it's just more of the fake crab meat. They're a little bit questionable. They got a little bit of a funk to them. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna eat the rest of that. This bad boy right here is a chico roll. Cabbage inside, that's about the only ingredient I know. Sometimes they're not cooked all the way through. It can be kind of difficult to cook and like a little bit juicy in the middle, but this one looks to be pretty good. Okay, yeah, probably a little more wet in the middle than I would like. Maybe it needs to be cooked a little bit longer, but chico rolls are chico roll. They're, uh, they're all pretty good. So this is the, uh, the piece de resistance, the recommended cabana. This is uh, probably recommended because it's very easy to cook and you can't really get it wrong because it's already cooked and you just put it in the deep fryer and make it nicer. Yeah, that's a pretty good piece of cabana, I'm not gonna lie. All in all, like, he had shoes on. The calamari didn't stink that bad. Uh, all the food is like relatively well prepared. It was pretty quick. I'm not completely dissatisfied. Would I go there again? Probably not. Is there worse food in Brisbane? Absolutely. I think the people that made those reviews just got them on a bad day. I think it's really hard to mess up fish and chips. And uh, honestly, I'm gonna eat all of this except these sus little seafood bites because they're kind of pushing it. Yeah, I'm not disappointed in this at all. I am a little bit disappointed that none of it was completely disgusting because that makes for better content. But I'm glad that I got an enjoyable meal. I can support a restaurant as it's trying to recover from COVID and I can make a video for you guys to watch. So thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna finish off my fish and chips and I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.